and welcome back to my series, The Inside Stylist, where I answer frequently asked questions about my medical medium lifestyle. Today, I am going to talk about supplements. It's something that I get a ton of questions about, and um, I'm no doctor, dietitian, nutritionist, none of that, not a practitioner. So, I am not able to, or I don't have the knowledge to give you specifics and anything like that. I am just going to share how I was able to find supplements, what supplements to take and the dosages and what to do when you don't have the funds to buy all the supplements. So that's what I'm gonna cover today and let's get on into it. first question I get a ton of questions about is how do I know how much to take and what to take and when to take it and I'm gonna show you where I get my answer it's actually in the liver rescue book the liver rescue book has on page 310 in the book there is a ton of symptoms with all the supplements listed and its dosages. These dosages are from the medical medium himself. Um, these are not dosages that I made up. So I choose to follow that. If you are unsure, I always suggest working with your doctor, a practitioner, or someone who is knowledgeable. But that's where I go and seek out to get information. Even when it's to children, I would definitely go and work with somebody that you know if you are uncertain yourself to figure out or have the knowledge to create or know what dosage to give your child. It's always a smart thing to work with someone who understands these kind of things. Um, and there's also tons of practitioners that use medical medium um, recommendations in their practices so you can feel comfortable about speaking to them about these dosages. So that's how I get my dosages and that's where I find the list of supplements. Now the second question that I get is what if you can't afford all those supplements? Do you have to take all those supplements in order to heal? Um, and if you don't, will you not heal? And what I have found out is these are a guide and a list of supplements that Anthony William recommends. Now, if you can take all of them, that's great because that's just like the high end of like, if you had everything perfect, this will help you the most amount to heal. Does that mean if you miss half of it, or you can only take one of them that you're not gonna heal? Absolutely not. What I recommend is when I was first starting out this whole healing journey, I didn't have the funds. I didn't have the means to go and the budget to go and buy all these supplements. I still don't have the budget to buy all these supplements. What I do or what I did at first was I focused a ton on food. I put my money into food and I used, you can use this book right here, Life Changing Foods book. Back then it didn't have this book, but now we have this great resource of Life Changing Foods book. And it's so simple to find your symptoms. You can look in the back of the book. Um, there's an index and it lists a whole bunch of symptoms in the back there. And you can go and it lists all the foods that he recommends for you to eat to help you with that symptom. So you can definitely put all your money into food. I highly recommend putting your money into food first. And then if you have the budget, go on and put your money into supplements. If I didn't have the budget for all of these supplements, my top three supplements that I would probably pick because he mentions that there is not enough of it in the food that we eat is zinc and b12 the third one is because is vitamin c and i choose that because um when you are fighting your symptoms or a chronic illness or a chronic symptom 
Usually your immune system is compromised and vitamin C really helps to push everything forward, to give your body the support it needs to fight these viruses or to help you to heal. So that's the top three that I would probably use. I choose to use the, the brand Vimergy as it is a trusted source um, of medical mediums. He's not sponsored and neither am I. <laughs> I still have to pay for all my supplements, but that's the brand that I choose to use. It's called Vimergy. Now you can go and look up on the medical medium website under supplements or under um, products he recommends and there's a whole page of brands that he chooses. That's where I go and choose which brand that I use. Um, I also have a web page that lists all the supplements and all the things that I use. It's all on there. Um, so either way, if you're looking for something and you don't know what brand to use, you can use utilize those two resources. And um, going back, sorry, I lost my train of thought. There's just so much information that sometimes I get so lost in what to say. But going back to food. In the beginning part, when I didn't have enough money to buy all these supplements, I put it onto food and I mainly started there. So I want you to know that you can do something. You know, maybe over time, as you save up, you can buy one supplement or you can buy a couple of supplements. I don't even take all the supplements every month because the budget is quite large if you do that and I don't really have the finances to do that at this moment. But um, I do take as much as I can. Sometimes I alternate. Um, and that's another thing you can do. You can always alternate. But the three that I definitely will always have is my vitamin C, my B12, and my zinc because I don't have enough of those from food. Other than that, I focus on food and utilizing food to help me to heal. So I hope that with those tips, those will help to answer your questions around supplements. No, you do not have to take every single supplement. And no, you don't have to put all your money into supplements. I personally would choose to put my money into food because food is something that you have to eat. You have to fuel yourself. You have to support your body. And I feel like putting your money into food is much more important than spending all your money on supplements. Supplements are needed and yes supplements are a great, they've helped me tremendously as far as killing viruses, um, getting rid of heavy metals and just supporting my body like my liver, my immune system, um, taking away neurotoxins like counteracting that, supporting you know everything in my body. So is supplements necessary? Absolutely. If you have the money for it, I definitely would highly recommend taking supplements as we just don't get enough from our food these days. And um, it will definitely push your healing forward. But if you don't have the money, it's okay. Don't stress about it. Focus on your food and work up to getting some supplements or at least the necessary ones that you can get your hands on, such as the three I mentioned. And especially you would I would look into getting the supplements for your heavy metal detox because that is another important one. So I hope that this will make your journey a little bit easier, less stressful around supplements and you need not to worry about your budget. Do what you can. Don't stress out about it because stress causes adrenaline and we all know that adrenaline is corrosive and can just make every symptom worse so let's not deal with stress let's have fun on this journey make this journey easy and do what's what you can do that's what i always tell people do what you can do and trust me healing will happen one step at a time okay guys don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful subscribe to my channel and leave a question in the comments below if you want me to answer it on this new series so until the next video guys i'll see you next time